Res deterrent. Nea quocum exergatis. Ite nagae suntum agrum pacatum reductos. Quo nomen tibi este? Dicat nomen ito. Cornum, ok. Ha! Analianum. Is this more clear to you? Ah, so you are not from here. State your name. You will listen to me or you will be executed here. State your name. Of what breed are you? Species. What is your species? Human. Is... Is there a settlement of your kind somewhere near? Hmm. My name? Ha! <laughs> so rude. You really aren't from here, are you? Is... Is mutual name exchange a typical... Uh, human custom. Well, I will flatter you then. My name is Caesar Rock. Sure. Caesar. If there is no settlement of your kind, where did you come from? Hmm? What? C cryo... Cryopreservation? What? You're not making sense. That is not a word. Hibernation for millions of years. Do you think I'm stupid? Stranger, you are appearing more and more suspicious by the second. Do not move. Do you realize where you are? I do not know where you came from, but right now you are a puny creature in venomous territory. It would take me mere seconds for you to succumb to me. You are barely worth the time. Any less unique creature would be dead by now. If you are human, then it is no wonder you all died out being as stupid as this. Could you not smell me? So you couldn't? <laughs> what a shame. I've never seen anything like you. By all accounts, you look like a human. You sure don't act as smart as legend says you were, though. Are you perhaps a child? Were humans truly this small? And with no sense of smell? Oh, human, you have no chance in this world. You have so much to learn if you are to survive the night, human. Follow me. Do tell me, are there others of your kind? Generally, a hibernation is universal to a species, and it is no individual's decision. Oh, to be forced into such a long sleep. What a cruel fate. Your kin may have not survived, I assume. If I may ask, how... Were you preserved? After so long, you should be nothing but a mere skeleton. And to speak a modern language as well. Luck truly is on your side, human. Am I the first individual you've met? <laughs> Color me surprised. There are many prey beings roaming this area. The fact that you weren't scouted 
has me a bit suspicious. Follow me in here. tasted so many delicacies in my lifetime. Rabbit, boar, bear, horse, other snakes. Never, ever did I think that I would get the chance to play with a human. Do you know that your kind are legendary to many? Some will even worship you. Do you realize how valuable you are to me right now? Your body is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You are a fruit that only one person will ever be able to taste. This entire world, prey and predator, will want you. They will want to take you, play with you, and see what makes you tick. And oh, the individuals who would line up for the glimpse of their god. You. You are the god to many human. <laughs> oh, how fortunate I am to be the first to stumble upon you. I can't help but wonder what you'd taste like writhing inside of me and diminished to a mere meal. Oh, if I was a common snake, there wouldn't even be a second thought. What a quaint little thing you are. But at your size, you'd barely even be an appetizer. What do I do with you then? Should I put you in a cage and make people charge to see you? Put you under my control and use you as bait for better prey? Perhaps you'd serve as a good incubator. That season is right around the corner, you know. Oh, it is such a cruel fate for the last survivor of your kind to be prey to a godforsaken snake. But that is simply nature. Your kind died out for a reason. Did your kind have snakes back in your period? You will answer me when I ask you a question. You are in no position to fight back. Your only chance of living is to entertain me for a bit. So, give me a show and tell me what I want to hear. According to legend, humans were the only dominant species during your time. Your kind created magic in the form of controlling lightning, and to this very day, some of your magic remains, as sparse as it is. But there are many who despise humankind as well as there are those who worship you. Tales tell of verdant forests falling to a single human's neglect. Entire species vanishing upon contact with a single human. You weld your magic to destroy everything in your path for the sake of n not even power, but just to watch the helpless burn. Those who worship you do it out of fear that your kind will come back and reign again. So, <laughs> tell me, human, if your kind is so powerful and magical, then why haven't you slain me? We found fossils of humans with their collections of oversized prey. Taking me down should be a mere game for you. Or has the hunter now in their prey's territory become the hunted? When your kind died out, the non-human survivors of your reign evolved. They were no longer getting killed for attempting to fight back. 
Your corpses fertilized what you left of our world, and now the world is lush and vibrant once more. And now, we're here. Without humans, there is no singular dominant creature, despite what some might believe. Oh, I can't help but be a bit spiritually minded here. I wonder if you're coming back as a sign of the apocalypse. We are long overdue for a tragedy. We've lived comfortably for too long. The avians, aquatics, and terrestrials all together. I am no fortune teller, but... If word gets out, I believe your coming will create chaos, human. Many will want you dead. Now, the question is, would I be doing the world a favor by crushing you here? Surely I'd be crushing the prophet of the religious types, but... <laughs> well, nevertheless, I apologize for rambling. I figured you may need a lesson on modern beliefs. Should you have walked into any different creature's territory, you may have been eaten alive. Then let it be known that that is still a possibility. I have an idea. I will give you two options. Option one, I will take you as my mate here and now. We will see how well you humans fare as incubators. <laughs> Mating season is in a few moons and having a god as my mate is a once in a lifetime opportunity. But you'll survive and you'll have me protecting you. Oh, you don't look too pleased. I'm offended. Is it my skills? I promise you, you won't have to worry about my size. Too much. <laughs> Interspecies relationships are not uncommon nowadays. But option two. I will let you attempt to escape from me. You'll have but five minutes to run, and should you escape, then good for you. Perhaps you'll fall into a friendly, hungry spider's web, or maybe the vultures will stalk you. Maybe you'll fall into a scorpion's den since you have no idea what to look for out in this world. Or maybe you'll just get lucky once more and find another friendly face. But should you get captured, then you'll get to witness first hand what my fangs feel like when they inject venom into your tiny, helpless body. Oh, don't give me that face. You won't die. I won't let you. Naga, like myself, have the curious ability to control whoever we capture. Our musk is quite powerful to those who've been bitten and it's the key to mind controlling our victims. One single bite and you're infected. All it takes is for you to be near me and I can control you however I please. You're only your former self when master isn't around to play with your puppet of a body. So tell me human, should I begin our mating ritual? Or 
are you going to let me witness firsthand what human prey tastes like?